Welcome to the second video in the NanoLive Technology mini-series, exploring phase contrast, quantitative phase imaging, and holotomography. If you have any questions during the video, please send them to us via the chat box or comments, and we will reply as soon as possible. Label-free imaging removes the damaging effects of chemical dyes and fluorescence exposure, enabling the long-term capture of cellular dynamics without biasing cellular responses. Phase imaging is one such label-free imaging approach. It uses the intrinsic refractive properties of cellular structures to provide the contrast for label-free imaging. As phase cannot be directly measured with optical sensors, various optical designs have been developed over time to produce phase-like images. Later, several breakthroughs widely broadened the applications of these techniques, like quantitative phase imaging, or QPI, and holotomography. But do you know the difference between these three imaging approaches? Let's start with phase contrast. First developed in 1932 by Fritz Zernicke, phase contrast records local changes in the phase shift of light as it passes through the cell. Cellular structures interact with light in different ways, with bright regions denoting strong refractive differences so that individual cells and their general morphology can be seen. Phase contrast suffers from a halo in bright regions, which affects resolution. Other phase imaging techniques were developed, such as differential interference contrast, but all these methods suffer from non-quantitative measurement which reduces their specificity, resolution, and contrast. They are therefore best suited to large fields of view and collecting simple metrics like cell count for high throughput applications. In the 80s and 90s, the phase contrast principle was further refined for cell imaging to develop quantitative phase imaging and even later, holotomography. Quantitative phase imaging improves the phase detection approach to achieve better signal accuracy. One method used is to combine multiple interference patterns using computation to retrieve the quantitative signal. The achieved sensitivity is high enough to extract more quantitative metrics, like the dry mass of the cells and the cell area, hence quantitative phase imaging. Depending on the method, some internal structures can now be seen more clearly, such as the nucleus and lipid droplets. Holotomography is another quantitative imaging technique that builds on the principles of phase contrast, but it goes a step further to achieve higher resolution images beyond standard optical microscopy. Furthermore, instead of phase, it directly extracts the refractive index as the quantitative imaging signal, thus providing much higher contrast and specificity, which translates to clearer images and higher resolution. Organelles such as lipid droplets, nucleoli and mitochondria can be resolved by holotomography, as well as intricate membrane structures like ruffles and adhesions and thick actin fibers. NanoLive's holotomographic imaging platforms use a unique rotating light source to improve resolution, taking 96 image slices through the vertical Z stack to produce a 3D image which gives high resolution in focus cross sections through cells. The tomographic spatial resolution enhancement allows observation from the population level to the organelle scale without loss of resolution. Holotomography therefore allows the study of features like cell count at the population level, down to measuring the dry mass of individual lipid droplets. These high resolution images are essential for automated machine learning analysis to extract high-content phenotypic data from the cells and their organelles. 
These include detailed measurements of morphological features and the distribution of organelles within a cell. These fine measurements are then used to train machine learning algorithms for even more complex tasks, like classifying cells as living, apoptotic or necrotic, or identifying T cells in a co-culture, or completely label-free. NanoLive's digital assay modules carry out this measurement and classification automatically. This means holotomography can give us a deeper understanding of cellular responses, providing a new quantitative way to assess therapeutic impact and efficacy. To summarize briefly, phase contrast imaging enables label-free cell counting and basic morphological analysis at the cellular level. Quantitative phase imaging reduces the halo effect seen with phase contrast and allows analysis of cellular dry mass and more morphological details. And finally, holotomography achieves high resolution images in 3D, allowing in-depth analysis from the population to the organelle level, and even enabling detection of specific processes like apoptosis or T-cell target cell interactions without labels. This was the second video in our NanoLive Technology mini-series. Follow the rest of the mini-series to learn more about the technology behind NanoLive's high-content live cell images and how holotomography is essential for providing deep phenotypic insights into cellular responses. Our team will be happy to answer your questions and provide you with any additional information you need. Please get in touch via the contact form link in our description on our website at nanolive.ch or by email at lookinginsidelife at nanolive.ch.